Hello, hello. I have a fun video for you guys today regarding Bloodborne on PC. There has recently been a new update to Shad PS4. We're talking about version 0.3.1. Oh yes. It's out, it's new, and it's uh, more functional than ever before. So as you can see, we're loaded in game here. I won't take too much time, but the lighting looks great, the audio sounds great, the enemies are functional, the performance is snappy. And we're going to go through uh, how about I went setting this up. So take some time with me here and let me show you what I got. So firstly, I mentioned we're on the newest release of Shad PS4. I'm going to link this down in the description. You're going to make sure to download and extract this file. It is the newest version, 0.3.1. Once you have that and your Bloodborne game set up, we're going to go ahead and right click on the title, pull up this Cheats and Patches folder, we'll click over to the Patches tab, and down at the bottom here you're going to notice a little drop down menu. Select Shad PS4 and then click Download Patches. This menu above will populate, and you can go ahead and, uh, you know, kind of peruse this, but some settings I would recommend enabling here are the 60fps patch. That is a beautiful thing to take advantage of with PC performance. I would go ahead and disable the HTTP requests to, you know, streamline the game, reduce any uh, interruptions from the networking, trying to function, um, excuse me. You'll want to go ahead and disable motion blur as well as chromatic aberrations as these will likely affect the functionality and reliability of your game. And uh, skipping the intro is just a nice thing, honestly. A 30 FPS patch, you can bounce back and forth with that in 60 FPS if you're having reliability issues. But otherwise, I would definitely take full advantage of 60 frames per second as that is a beautiful thing to have. You may also want to check the box here to enable the Old Hunters DLC if that's something you're considering playing. And once you've done this, you'll press save, and you're basically good to go. Other than that, you might want to consider pressing the settings button and checking out this graphics tab here, where you can set the resolution of your monitor, or even overscale or underscale if you want to attempt to do uh, you know, physical anti-aliasing. As I said, I will go ahead and link all this stuff in the description. I unfortunately can't tell you where to get Bloodborne or the audio patch, as the audio will not work if you uh, try to get this game functioning normally. But uh, other than that, it's good. It plays. I've been testing things out for a little while now, and this is the best it's ever functioned. There may be some frame drops. There may be some things that I haven't experienced that are uh, you know, detrimental to gameplay, but I'd like to say this is worth checking out if you have some time, and if you've never played Bloodborne, I think this is a, a decent way to play it. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you have any questions or concerns, leave me a comment. Thank you very much.